Hey what's going on guys Mods here and we're back again with another video to show you guys and as you can see in here I'm on the Cloud Sea Archipelago and what I am doing in here is I'm improving the uh, manure the partner file as you can see in here I have a melting time of field monster drop plus 24 I mean 27% so the max is actually 30% so that means if you're going to farm in any a Komodo area for example on the Dreamfield city you will have an additional 25% uh, it's right here melting time and then field monster drop plus 3% and I actually almost max it out as you can see I only need one one more in order to unlock it all so maximum of 30% field drop and then 20% cloudstone uh, drop so this is the cloudstone and you cannot actually buy this one on the exchange as you can see but you can always farm this one on the monster inside the komodo area all right but this one you can actually buy this one on the exchange as you can see and then uh, this one also there you go exchange all right so since i have now a 27 percent and i cannot uh, upgrade this one further as you can see i need 800 uh, cloud stone so i don't have enough in order to max this out but i think 25 i mean a 27 percent is already high all right so let's see how much zen i can uh, get this time using this of course 27 percent uh drop boost Okay, so let me get this and if you're going to ask me how to unlock this one well all you need to do is check your manure and then you will have a, a story that you need to unlock like for example this one and then complete it this one like for example i have this so to tell you guys that i don't have a complete guide on how to uh, unlock the quest in here inside the archipelago but all i did is to click the uh, npc in here and then anything that i can for example this one to unlock this quest all right so i think we're good to go yeah and then use this archer skeleton Go for the food. And then this one, twenty pieces. There you go. So we're going to grind this one and let's see how much zeni I can earn with the 27% boost drop rate all right so let get this one first and then I'm planning to go to uh, hold on Komodo uh, this one alligator of course since it has a rough elonium in it and as you can see on my exchange i am selling a lot of uh, elonium and then i got i sold also a lot of elonium look at that collect oh that is fifth no 5m or 51 that is actually 5m so that's great and then let's go uh, let me remove my rough elonium first let's see if i have a rough elonium in here okay so i have around one yes i'm going to merge this one first Oppose. and there you go i don't have rough elonium anymore so let's see how much uh, rough elonium i can get it's now time to go to Kobodo and then switch dreamfield 
Okay, it's now time to target the alligator. And then offline for 720 minutes. That's great. Start. I think we're good to go. Wait, let me check this one first. Oh, we forgot to check our... Yeah, we started with 266M.4. 266M, alright. And now we now have the 16 rough Illunium, which is great. Let me check this uh, Meteor Fission first. Let's see if it is an unlimited gas. So still have my your fission at this time. And now it's gone. Oh I still have it. That's great. Oh right. And then right until this moment. Okay. So I still have my meteor fission and then there you go. So my meteor fission at the moment is unlimited so this is great and this is due to the manure all right so i'm gonna be showing you that later is i have a lot of stat on that one so it will cater on this area since this sweet dream field is a komoto area so that's why we get a boost Okay, so it's time for me to go offline, alligator, and then start offline. I don't know why it stopped but I only have 80 minutes of offline battle so I received 2.1 yes I know 2.7 million Zane in here so we should be continuing this one not like this
Who hits? Who hits? Yeah. Situation is constantly changing. 